Can you hear me? Hey, I can. Yeah, actually, uh, those of you that are on the webinar, guys, if you want to cover something real quick, this is a leadership call and an update call. So I want to explain to you guys what's a lot of questions going on out there. And Steve covered it very great about the um, about the 20%. Guys, please grab a pen and a piece of paper because what I'm about to share with you comes from years of experience of not only putting together different compensation plans and knowing numbers, uh, but also it's the reality that most people just don't realize. Guys, this is very important. A lot of people are asking questions. Well, why, you know, why is the company charging 20%? Uh, why, you know, why do we have to pay that? Uh, what's my advantages of, of paying it and not paying it? But guys, please pay close attention. Numbers are what they are. There's one thing constant in life, and that is math. It does not change. Math does not change. There's a reason why Telex Free is growing at the rate that they're growing. And other companies that have attempted to do the same thing, they grow for a while, then they slow down, then they disappear. And there's a reason for that, guys, and it's all involved in math. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a little math lesson today that's just going to help you guys understand that when you put the pen to the paper, you'll be like, oh, my God, this makes so much sense. In fact, I even talked to one lady, which was amazing, who made a lot of money in Telex Free, and, and they were saying, well, I don't think I'm going to renew. Uh, guys, I want you to understand something. It's because you have no clue of, the, of not only the income potential, but you have no clue of what we even have a hold of. I didn't have a clue of the power and income potential of what we have a hold of. But guys, listen, this 20% uh, to do to renew is what we call basically is putting you in a position to do your double do-over. And that means that what you've done right now can be multiplied extensively by the time of your second contract. But let's just say you, you, you said, you know what, I'm not going to renew. And therefore, the income that you're receiving right now, just expect when your contract is over, your income is over because you have a one-year contract. And that's what the contract is for. But guys, let's, I'm going to show you something that happens here. Uh, let's say that you've had 10,000 contracts in your organization. Let's say you made over $100,000 this year uh, in, in your first year typically. And you're saying, okay, I made hundred grand. i am not going to give the company back. 20% of the $100,000 that they just paid me, which in, in, in reality, so that you can do it again, in reality, anybody in finances would tell you that you'd be absolutely crazy for not doing that, especially something that's already built. But what if I had a lot of people, ladies and gentlemen, in my organization that didn't know the power of what they had, and they said, you know what? I'm not going to renew my contract. I'm just going to take all the money that I made this year from the company, I'm going to take all that profit, I'm going to go blow it and do whatever else I have to do. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Hey guys, let's, let's do a little math here. I want to show you something. What if only 50% of the people in your organization renewed? I guarantee it's going to be a lot higher. In fact, the company's average is extremely higher. I think it's in the upper 90%. But let's just say that for some reason half of your organization didn't have a clue of what they had and they didn't renew. That meant that if you had... 100 or 10,000 contracts, that means next year you'd only have 5,000 contracts coming back in. Well, now of that 5,000 contracts coming back in, between you and your entire team, what if you only literally bought in 50% of what you bought in your first year? Meaning that out of all the numbers, that 10,000 that came in this year, Next year, only 5,000 new contracts came in on top of the 5,000 contracts that renewed. Guys, that's 50% of what had happened last year. Now, I want you to do the math. What is 50%, guys, plus 50%? This is still 100%. And so if you do the math on this, you know, you'll, you'll understand that what's happening here. The companies put together a system that, that can perpetuate not only its growth, uh, but I happen to be talking to a finance major uh, the other day uh, who's also an investor, and he ran over the numbers of this company forward and back, and that was one of the things that was discussed, you know, people renewing. And, and in his words, he said, you have to be absolutely crazy or have no knowledge at all of finances to even utter the words that you would not want to renew again. 
Uh, but again, that's him coming from finance, uh, and, and I trust the ability of people who know and understand how to make money. Here's, here's the bottom line. Even with 50% of the people not renewing, guys, and this was blew our mind when we did the math on paper, and then just bringing in 50% of what you bought in the first year for income. Guys, not only is that 100%, but now you factor on top of that all of the new customers coming in on Telex Mobile next year, all of the new customers on the MFA, all of the new customers that are on the VoIP plan, all of the new customers that are on the coffee and the 200 plus other products that they're planning on putting in the platform. When you factor on that, it should be dead silent. Because the reality is, guys, as you look at that, it literally would make no sense at all to not only put yourself in that type of income position, but knowing that you can sit on top of an organization that's already built that's already gathering more customers. Well, here's what happens. What most people don't know is that most people are familiar with or heard about the different money games that are out there. Now, guys, I want you to understand something. A lot of people have made this decision, and basically everybody I talk to, they said, you know what, I'm glad to pay the 20% of the 100% of the profit that the company paid me. And if you think about that, if you're not willing to do that, isn't that just realistically greed? Because bottom line is, if a company's going to give me 100% profit, why would I not pay back 20% of the 100% that they just gave me so I can do it again? See, when many people base their decision, they base it on other companies that have tried to follow the same model. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. I've counted about five of them since I've been in Telex Frida, it started off, people have run over to them, and they're not even here anymore. They've already imploded. Why? Two things. One is because they don't have a real customer base. See, this company owns the brick service, which means they have the majority of the profit there to be able to continue to pay us so that it survives, like, like San Diego said, 150 years. The other thing is that that 20% is essential, which most people don't realize, in helping the company pay its bills, helping the company pay its staff, helping the company expand, and be able to, again, add additional income streams that will come in for future growth. So because of most of the companies out there that have tried a model like this have imploded or gone or slowed up so much that people aren't making any money, it's because they don't have a real expanding customer base. And what I mean by that is, again, like I said, the VoIP product this company owns. Uh, the product that's going to be coming up with the Telex Mobile, this company owns. And so what they're doing is they're designed to bring in real customers that will be on these services and continue to pay every month. That's how the company is going to get their new money in. Now, I want you to factor something else in. On top of the services that they own, there's that ever-expanding customer base. Guys, you are going to need this. An expanding customer base means that this company now will start to get contracts with other companies, such as they have with the MFA, that they can bring in additional services that people need, and then the company is going to, meaning Telexfree, is going to get a percentage of that service that people are paying for the customers every single month, and that is going to be rerouted back into the company so that the company can pay us not only the residual income off of it, but it's additional income for the company to survive. See, so when you start to figure out these factors, that's the reason why. And, I, and it was so funny, I had a, a conversation with a gentleman the other day who was telling about another company that everybody, or in his opinion, everybody was running into and you got to get into it. Now that company, it takes three months to get your money out or more. But at the time, ladies and gentlemen, they were paying very, very quickly. You know, it was the, their motto, my goodness, you can get paid every day. But look what happened because it didn't have a real product. It, it basically essentially was a money game. And so from that time period, because there's not enough money coming in to cover it, guess what happens? It slows up, and eventually they go away. So it's free is a totally different business model uh, like the company's been telling us from the beginning. That's why it's essential for them 
to have not only the 20% in there, but it's essential for them to have an ever-expanding customer base so that when people are done jumping from this to that company to this company, and finally, I've had several people call me back this, this week who went over to some of those other companies, things have slowed up for them, they bought their family members and friends to those other companies, they got their money out, but their family members and friends didn't, and it left them holding the bag. Guys, your reputation in network marketing is more important than any money that you could possibly make. And our relationship that we do with people is more important than anything. And that's why, you know, guys here as leaders, I'm explaining this to you, that's why I'm intellect free. Because the numbers work. Because the math works. Because they're building a solid customer base that's ever expanding so that you and I can have something that we can pass along to our kids and our grandkids and their generations beyond. So that's the power that I wanted to share with you guys as leaders. Uh, the reality is what is happening, and it's, it's amazing. I could sit here and name five to six companies right now, but I'm not going to name them by name. Many of you know about them. Many of you possibly were in, even in some of them. Uh, but that is the reality is the fact that when the math doesn't work and, and once they're based where they've got enough people drawing off of it and not enough people coming in, and that's exactly what happens to them. They slow up, they dry up, and then eventually they go away. And then the same people are trying to get you to go into another deal. Uh, so I'm just explaining to you guys, in fact, um, Kelly, if you've got a comment that you want to make on this, or Santiago, if you're still on the line, uh, that's, that's the difference with Kelly Tree, guys. It's, it's not a money game. I hear you, my friend. All right. Go ahead, go ahead, Santiago. You know that I pay already my 20%, right? Absolutely. And that was phenomenal. You know, the amount of money that, that we pay in order we continue to do this business. And now I think that a lot of you can see when you go to a statement, when you get a forty cent or any um, uh, commission for, for the 20 or the 60, you see first year contract, right? Correct. Okay. Now I can see second year contract. And when they pay me the open form, they are specific. Second year contract. Second year contract. And, and, the 40 cents and everything. And you know what? In the second year, you may, not two times, you may like three, four, five, six times the amount of money that you made in the first year. Why? Now, when we talk about this business, we can, we can show to everybody that is working. Why? Because we have one year experience right now. When we started, Randy, nobody believed. Why? Because we cannot show nothing. But right now, everyone in our organization is renewed, call me happy. When they see the invoice that they have to pay, because they know that they will have the same amount of money. And my question is this, why you don't pay the 20% if you already make it? Why? When we started last year, Randy, you don't know how much money you want to make per year, right? No, you don't know. You didn't know. But now, in the second year, you can you can say, okay, I made this, so that means that this year, in my second year contract, I will have this plus all the money that I will make with a new promoter, a new customer, and the new people that join to our business. Why? Because now it's easier for all of us to bring more people. Why? Because we have the experience. And we can show our back off, we can show with the money. People can see how our life changed in just one year. Guys, it's phenomenal. 
do with love. And let me tell you something. Don't get stressed with nobody in your organization if they say that they are not going to renew. Don't believe that because nobody is crazy. Why? If you may already make $100,000, why you don't want to make it again? Why not? Why not? So everyone, believe me, trust me, I guarantee that more than the 95% of the people in your organization, they are going to renew. They are going to renew. And so don't worry about that. This is phenomenal. Plus, as Bradley said, we make one year contract with this company. In one year, finish. So company gives you the opportunity that you make the same amount of money again. This is phenomenal, guys. Phenomenal. I hope this year, in my second contract, I hope to pay more than one million in my in my 20% grant. What do you <laughs> Well, i tell you what, the interesting thing is that most people forget your contract is only for a year. Guys, listen, if you want to walk away after that first year, that's great. That's your decision. Just like some people make a decision not even to join Telex Free. That's a decision, too. But our contracts are only for one year. Sometimes when we start to make the kind of money that we're making, we want to say our contract is for a lifetime, but it's not. It's only for one year and the company gives us the opportunity uh, to renew that. And you know the amazing thing is, guys, and I'm just saying this, you know, a lot of times people say, well, what about the, you've got to factor in the money that you spent uh, for your contract. Guys, listen, if you've been doing this business and building it, treating this like a business and sharing with other people, you know, I personally know of a person who spent $300 to get into this company. They never upgraded their contract, but they spent three dollars. They did the small package, and they made, ladies and gentlemen, over seven figures. Not six figures, over seven figures, and they only spent three hundred dollars. Now you do the math. You see, bottom line is. The cost for that person to renew is only their 20% plus their $300. So bottom line is, do you think they'll renew? Would you think that we're crazy if they didn't renew? See, you've got to understand, as Santiago said, you'll find that not only will the majority of people renew, but guys, as you add in and factor in all the new sales that are going to come in next, next year, and on top of that, all of the new residual income, from customers, I promise you, you'll make more residual income from customers and, and uh, you know, from all of the new sign-ups that will be way over anything, any expenses that you would think about being in the business. It's just simple math, guys. And you're not paying money out of your pocket. You're really literally paying out of the profit that the company paid you. And if you think about that, that's what makes the biggest difference here. So we're excited. We just want to give some clarification on that because there are a lot of people uh, that were wondering about that and, and understanding. But, you know, again, guys, as Santiago said that he's seeing right now, when you start to see those second-year contracts, and, and remember, if somebody below you that you sponsor didn't renew, but below them, no matter how many levels deep as people renew, that money is just rolling up to you. It just rolls by them. It's just like an opportunity. When you don't take it, it goes to the next person that does. Opportunities don't go away. They just go to the next person that takes it. So, therefore, money still comes in, and all the new sales that those people are making, that comes in. All the customers that they're gathering, that continues to come in. So, absolutely powerful. Anything else, Santiago, you want to add to that before we end this call? Because I know a lot of people are asking questions, so I want to cover that in depth. I believe it was Carlos. Did you have a question on that, or was that, uh, or was that uh, Kelly that made a statement? That was probably just me going, "Oh boy, oh goodness, <laughs> I'm just so excited." <laughs> that wasn't me with the question, Randy, because I can tell you this: from where I came from, in December 
of last year, I'm going to be, I can't get quick enough to my time to pay the 20%. I'm going to pay it wholeheartedly, excited to pay it. I'm waiting patiently to pay that. And I'm quite sure a lot of other people on our team, because we've had meetings with them already, are ready to pay their 20% too. So let's get it going. Wow, exactly. Well, Randy, I, Randy, I told you my story about uh, renewing. I'm just, I'm completely thrilled what the first year has done. And, uh, you know, uh, back in December 28th, when I joined, I thought uh, Telex Free was going to do, like, uh, I was really looking for something like a, a couple extra hundred dollars a week. <laughs> and uh, and I tell you, if, if a person hasn't joined, they really just got to be very open-minded and uh, realize that uh, we've got something very strong here, very strong. And I didn't realize the power of this business back then, uh, but it took me a couple months. And, um, you know, and, I, and, and no one needs to uh, realize the power of this business. Really, you got to realize it like the first week. And, um, you know, because once I saw um, the potential of Telex Free, I mean, you just couldn't get me off the phone. And, uh, you know, I was just, uh, I mean, just build the business and just tell people, tell people. And, and it's, it's very rewarding when you have a lot of people going, you know, thank you for bringing it to me. And I'm thankful that it was presented to me. So I uh, cannot wait uh, December 28th, my one-year renewal, because uh, that 20% that is uh, I will wholeheartedly say, you know what, I'm ready for round two. I'm ready for year two. It's going to be amazing. Absolutely. And, and, guys, you have to remember, too, with the kind of money that people are making, you need deductions. You need deductions. And, uh, you know, a lot of people will find that. Uh, again, of course, as you, you know, you pay the 20% plus all of your travel, your meeting expense, anything that you've done, when you add all of that up, that counts against the profit that you've made with the company. Uh, you know, as far as what your cost was to join, your dues, fees, different things of that nature. When you consult with your tax guy, you'll see exactly what I mean. But when you have those type of deductions, you're going to need that, and then your taxes are paid, you know, in business, Regular people pay taxes before, and then they get what's left over. When you're in business, you, you write off your expenses first, and then your taxes are paid on what's left over. That's another advantage of being a part of a home-based business that many of you that have never been in one before, you're going to see when you get with your, you know, your tax accountants, you'll be able to see the advantage of that and why that is so powerful. That's another reason why the MFA – is going to be so important uh, to all of us because when you guys pick up the phone and talk to the financial advisors and, you know, you make appointments and do that, they'll all, they also will review your past three years of your tax returns and look for any additional income uh, that you could have gotten or any additional tax deductions that you could have been qualified for and, and have not taken advantage of. So that's another part of that incredible service and being uh, in this business. So uh, there's so many things, guys, that, that we're learning and uh, that people have been sharing uh, with us, especially, you know, as, you, as your income changes, you start to get different information on helping you how to make better decisions. So uh, I want to say, again, this call today was designed uh, to let all of the leaders know, to kind of reach out to everybody, let everybody know as far as, and that's why we thank Santiago for getting on the call. Everything there at the home office is on track, uh, and uh, there's so many people uh, that are understanding uh, the power of where we are, what's going on, and, uh, and, and how we're, we're literally, literally exploding the business. So, uh, again, guys, we appreciate everybody not only being on the call, but being a part of what we're really experiencing here, and that is a financial... I call it, guys, explosion. So uh, thanks so much for everybody being on the call, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon.